Victor Vogue, we got the news that Machino, Moschino, Moschino has named Davide Rene as a new creative director. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I haven't seen much um, backlash on the social media around this naming of Davide Rene as the creative director of Machino, uh, even though everybody was pretending to be outraged that flipping, what's it, Kering had hired another white male to take over the creative role and they wanted more women there. They didn't really care about the black straight guys anyway, but anyway, who gives a fuck? But they wanted more women to take those type of roles. And um, if I'm not mistaken, having checked online, the holding company that controls or that bought Machino back in the day, also has a few other comp um, companies that they sort of like manage. I guess one of them is uh, Alberto Ferreri and Philosophy and a few other ones. But I'm pretty sure all the creative directors of all the brands that they manage or they bought um, are all white. And I'm pretty sure they're all boys or they're all men. So it's obviously <laughs> something happening in the industry where this is a thing for a reason. And I guess why I wanted to bring this up is more so as in like, it's probably an issue more so with the fact that it's only one type of people that get any type of roles as opposed to hey let's just get women involved i don't like that type of the conversation you know what i mean i want the conversation to be a little bit more interesting expansive and actually get into the crux of what maybe the issue may be so that maybe we can make some you know headway into maybe solving it because clearly if you listen or if you agree um you know, or if you know anything about the industry, you'd know that there is a lot of women who work in the industry behind the scenes in various areas. So it really doesn't make any sense why there wouldn't be any good candidates to take the role of creative director. And then when you kind of broaden it out a bit more and you think of people like myself who are straight black males who come into fashion and want to get involved, most likely if you do if you are trying to get into it, you're having to compete against the women and the gays who are usually at the pinnacle, at the top of design and when it comes to fashion. So I would imagine if you're a black straight guy or if you're a straight guy in general and you're coming into this field, you're probably going to be of a very high standard because the standard that they set, the gays and the flipping um, women women's is incredibly high you have to match that standard just to get a look in so it's interesting that people that look like me don't get an opportunity but no one speaks about that okay no one speaks about that and it makes me angry no it doesn't i don't really care but let's just mention and read the article anyway so um congratulations to davide rene hey i also like um his announcement pictures as well i'm not mad at those in the slightest um it says here um davide rene is the new creative director of machino the highly regarded tuscan born designer will start on the first of november that's a pretty good way in it to start your fucking new job as creative director of machine on the first day of the fucking month right you get your new card you got your new corner office you got maybe a new laptop you got a driver things just go the levels just go up a little bit innit? so big up him man that must be such a great feeling a statement from the parent company um if afi confirmed this morning that massimo ferretti afi's executive chairman said in a new hire we are confident that he will play a pivotal role in shaping the future of machino rene 46 raw he's really young though innit? to take that role big up him has been a milanese um rumor mill's favorite candidate to succeed jeremy scott as Machino's creative captain for several weeks. After an excellent de decade at the helm, the American Scott left the role in March this year. The September show Milan Fashion Week marked Machino's 40th anniversary with the four stylist designed capsules. Now Rene will become the fourth um, ever lead designer following Scott, Rosalia Giardini and founder Franco Machino. I'm really curious to see what his vision of Machino is going to look like. like much like um, when Alessandro Michele left Gucci, I was just more interested to see what type of gucci we'll see on the runway because alessandro michele's gucci was a very distinctive look that almost kitschy circus cartoony look well machine is probably more circus cartoony than jeremy scott so i'm interested to see what renee will be doing um under machino and how he's going to be putting it out will he start off doing what most people do when they take over such a, a bold vision prior to him starting and just kind of reset the palette and do something very minimal and plain will he try and do his version of that kind of cartoony circusy look i'm really curious to see what happens when he does actually um debut his first collection for machino it says renee appears amply qualified for the role until recently he was a head women's wear designer at gucci he rose to the position during nearly 20 years of a french-owned rome-based house that's the eras of Marcello McKelly and Frida Gianni. To be honest, I'm really surprised more people in fashion, especially the kids, why they don't just concentrate on getting a job behind the scenes. Because he's had a job working at Gucci for 20 years before he got the job of creative director. 
Now, of course, creative director is obviously the 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 pinnacle and where you actually want to go to. But he could have been comfortable working at a level that he was working at, being the women's wear designer at Gucci, probably being responsible for designing a lot of the things that we know and love about Gucci and thinking it's coming from Alexander McKelly's hands, but it's actually coming from his hands and being the guy behind the scenes that people knows knows what's up and shit and living a really good life flying around the world fashion weeks you know working hard of course but just living that creative artistic designer life without the hassle of trying to be in front of cameras and the social media stuff and the interviews like you can actually have a really decent career in fashion if you make it because it seems that you can keep a job in the industry forever especially if you are really good at what you do people are going to want to keep you around um so yeah 20 years is pretty good run well done him in an in an autobiographical note, um, he writes of Michele of Michelle. Um, he taught me to dream and bigger and push me further. Rene joined Gucci in February two thousand and four after nearly four years working alongside Alessandro um, Del Aqua, who describes um, as my first teacher and mentor in fashion. Rene is a graduate of the Polo Modo Fashion School in Florence. Um, Franco Machino founded his label in nineteen eighty three. Da, 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 da. Um, Ba 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 cool. Massimo Fretti added on Rene, we have all been impressed by that Davide's extremely sophisticated vision of the fashion's power to create a living dialogue with the world around us and by his deep understanding of the House of Machino legacy and its roots. I'm really curious to see what I would love to know what a fashion house creative director role interview looks like. Like do you have to present a collection? Do you present ideas? Do you just have an interview and they talk about you as a person and try to get to know you a little bit better like i wonder what the interview is like that might be such a nerve-wracking interview to go to right like because uh, it's probably difficult to interview for a role as creative director for a big brand and then not get it and then have to go back to doing what you're doing before because you'd imagine once you take that step you actually want to be in the limelight you actually want to be the main head honcho guy so if you don't get it and you have to go back to being behind the scenes it's probably really gutting but yeah i'd love to know what an interview like that looks like to be fair but yeah big up david renee hope he actually smashes it working at machino hope he smashes it working at machino